was up and I was conscious. And I was tingly, dizzy, dizzy and scared. Jaden had a stroke October 9th, 2015, his first of five strokes. And at the time we didn't know anything, had never heard the word stroke before in our family. He was six years old, first grade, and he was coming off of the school bus. And the bus driver said that he wasn't feeling well. So I walked up to the bus and when he got off the bus, I had to really kind of help him. We sat him down on the grass and he kind of lost his balance. He had no strength. He was like a rag doll. So I picked him up and carried him home and I knew that something was wrong. So I decided to call 911 and an ambulance came to bring him to Conway Medical Center. We got to the hospital and they just, you know, proceeded with basic, you know, a checklist of, of things. And they gave him a CAT scan and they knew that this was going to be more than something that a Conway Hospital could handle. So there is when we first were introduced to telehealth. If you think about a community emergency department, the, uh, the nurses and the physicians at a community emergency department do an amazing job of providing all sorts of care. But when a critically ill child comes into their emergency department, that's something that's not as familiar to them. Um, they may only see one or two really truly sick children a year. But at MUSC, our pediatric critical care physicians see multiple critically ill children a day. We're able to support the community hospital uh, in that critical situation to allow them to stabilize the child and provide very time sensitive interventions and then to get them to MUSC if needed in better shape. You know, my situation compared to my wife's is a little bit different because my wife was with him throughout the whole process where I was at work. And when I arrived is when basically they brought in um, the telehealth. It's basically, you know, a computer on wheels. Um, looking or reflecting back now as a parent, in, in the hospital, in the medical field, they use the term team a lot. And I felt like this um, system was able to increase um, or, or expand the team quicker, if you will. And I know as parents, we felt more comfortable um, with more sets of eyes on our kid to understand what was going on with them and, and more importantly, more specialized set of eyes on our kid. The doctor that looked at him through the telehealth system went ahead and ordered an ambulance from the hospital in Charleston and had Jaden transported there which was really comforting to know that when we got there, they were prepared for him and already knew a lot about Jaden. Jaden was in a medicated induced coma basically for almost uh, five days to prevent any brain stimulation because his brain was so swollen from the stroke. They were trying to let the brain heal as quickly as it could with any brain stimulation that could interfere with that. And we did not know what Jaden was going to wake up like. You know, I, I really basically almost blanked out. It was, it was really a, uh, the doctors joked around. My wife, they didn't think that I, I, I talked because for about two days, I really didn't talk because all I was doing was trying to, um, you know, digest what was going on because it was so unique to me in this type of situation and you feel so helpless. I was extremely scared just wanting my son to not have any residual lasting serious effects. Um, wanted him to just be healthy. But we had faith in our team of doctors and we knew that Jaden was a very strong boy who could, we knew that could persevere through this. Jaden is doing great. Um, he had another experience with the telehealth when he was admitted to the hospital the third time. The doctors were really familiar. They just rolled up the, the computer, which has the camera on it. Jaden basically rehabilitated himself just through being a, a child playing, and we really feel that he 
is now out of the woods. He won't have another stroke.